Congratulations on your purchase. Pontoons, or ski collars as some of us call it, are a critical piece of equipment that can help with stabilizing the ski, along with safety for both the ski and anyone who is on it. Today I will be showing you how to install your One Hawaii pontoon. Let's break open a new box and show you what's included with your purchase along with the tools you'll need to install your collar properly. Everyone has their own techniques, but this is what worked for us and we'll cover the critical parts in this installation video. Here's the pontoon. We put a little bit of air in it just to show you guys. Um, you have your starboard and port sides, your left and right sides. This is how it's gonna sit on your ski. Um, and right here you have your intake. This is your pressure release. When you hook it up to the hose, you hook it from here. Air travels all the way around to the back. And just a little thing for you to understand, it's gonna expand in the heat. You don't wanna fill it up to its max anyways, but this is nice just in case it gets too much sun, expands during the middle of the day. This is gonna release it to keep it at like a good level. Alrighty, so for prepping the ski, this is total preference, but I'd recommend cleaning it before you do. If you wanna lay padding, it's easiest to do this now, just cause the pontoon does fill a big portion of the outside of the uh, gunnel here, and you're not gonna be able to like wrap the padding down underneath it. Okay, the next step and probably one of the most intimidating things is uh, to remove the bumper and rub rails on your ski. This is a brand new ski, so it is intimidating, but this does need to come off for the pontoon to properly sit up against the ski. Um, so yeah, bumper, rub rail, and then depending on the ski, you actually might need to take off the rear bumper as well. We're gonna take this off and show you what's underneath this guy right here. We've taken off the rub rail. This is the last screw to the front bumper. That's crazy. So you come down this side. Every ski is different, like I said before, but like these were two rivets. This is a rivet. All these are rivets. So we're gonna take that out. For this, I found 11 64ths drill bit is uh, probably the best size to get those out. Once the bumpers are all off, you're ready to install the pontoon. It's important to fill the pontoon partially with air and line it up with the ski. We recommend bungeeing or strapping the pontoon on the top. These are plastic backers is pretty much what I call them. There's eight of them in the box that you get. Uh, we don't need all eight, we're just gonna be using six, but this is important that these kind of line up um, with the front of the ski, meeting in the middle at the front. What these plastic backers are for is essentially they sandwich the pontoon's lip, this little bit that you can kind of see here, um, will get sandwiched with this into the PWC as we're drilling in. This prevents it from tearing, um, just reinforces all of it as well. All right, so we have one bracket installed right here. It's being pinched with vice grips. This is the middle. Same thing, like I told you, this gets sandwiched on the outside of that lip. So you have the backer, the lip, and then part of the PWC. Um, we have two grips here to keep it super centered. This is obviously super important. We're gonna put another one right here and then maybe halfway down right here. All right, these are some of the tools we're gonna to be using. Let's just start with the hardware. You have 50 of these. Uh, like I told you about the backers, depends on the ski. We're using six of them. We're probably gonna put about five of these in each backer, but we wanna reinforce the front. These tips are the star tips. We're using a T220, or sorry, a T25 bit. Um, that's what I have on here. And then also with that, we're gonna be drilling. Drill size is gonna be a 3 16 and um, just the wrench, the same size as these little washers is an eight mil. So that's the hardware we're gonna use. We're gonna get into it. You're gonna see how we work from the front to the back. And again, it's super important because there is more hardware reinforce the front, those two brackets, the one being here 
and then the other backer bracket on that side. As you work on the ski, I think it's super important that we uh, use vice grips uh, the whole length down. Um, the more the merrier kind of thing. As you see here, I'm using four in each section. Um, that way I know it's nice and taut when I'm drilling through it and there's not going to be any mess ups that way. It's not going to slide either. Alrighty, so all 50 bolts are now in um, the bottom here. And uh, we're just gonna undo these straps that we had tightening the top. And then after I do this, I gotta untie the rope on the back. Um, we're gonna inflate um, the pontoon all the way up to see how it sits. The last step will actually be to uh, hook up straps to these rings and install, it's part of the packaging, um, install little bolts in there. And then the straps that you tighten, that prevents this from moving. Uh, you have one here, one up in the front. And then like I've told you before, every jet ski is different. Um, I'm still trying to figure out where I'm gonna put mine, but it is nice to measure it out because these ones will show, um, unlike everything underneath that doesn't show to the eye. Uh, so take your time with it, measure it out, make sure it fits right. Um, for the front ones, I can open my hatch, put my hand in, and I'll just have to kind of feel where I can reach uh, to use that bolt on the inside and tighten it from the outside. Please reach out to One Hawaii if you have any questions or want referrals to people who can install this for you. This concludes our install video. See you on the water. Aloha.